Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery on our outdoor range. I'm here with Tim Griner from our pro shop. And Tim, we're gonna talk to folks about the Raven R18, which is definitely a unique looking crossbow. <laughs> Tell us about this crossbow <laughs> and how it functions. Okay, this crossbow is uh, pretty much cutting edge of, of being different. Um, Raven came up with this. Um, one of the things that we had with some of the other crossbows with the limbs just releasing to the side is they would be too close to a tree. And when that happens, uh, they would derail the bow or they would break the limbs. Right. Uh, with this bow, you're able to get right up against a tree when you're making that shot, if that deer is right behind you and you're, the limbs are gonna retract this direction. So you don't have that possibility of striking a tree. Yeah. And you can get that deer that's right behind your tree and won't move. Gotcha. And this one is rated for 330 feet per second. Probably shoots a little faster, as we know from Ravens. Um, and despite that unusual limb profile, a lot of the operation is very much Raven. Tell us how this functions. It is. Uh, the carriage is pretty much a standard uh, with what mostly most Ravens are going to have. Uh, the carriage is going to go forward and, and we grab the string and then we're going to pull the string back with the carriage. The carriage is this, this piece right here. Yep. Uh, the limbs are going to be pulled downward and at this point we'd be ready to uh, to load, load the bolt. It is with a standard hand crank that's included right there. It, it comes with three 16 inch bolts which is different for Raven, usually they're longer, and so it says right on there for R18 only. So if you're getting replacement bolts, you wanna make sure you get the ones for the R18 for this. Um, but now come, this uh, bow comes with, tell us about that reticle that it comes with. We have a red dot sight on here, and uh, the red dot sight actually has three dots inside uh, to set your different ranges, so you have three possibilities that you can uh, tune in for and it's got um, some variable adjustment for the brightness. There is, right here on the side, there's an arrow for up, and that would be your turn on button, and also to adjust your brightness for intensity going up. Uh, there's also a down arrow, and the down arrow will adjust your intensity down, as well as turn the sight off. So you would hold that for two seconds to turn it off, and only about one second, just a quick bump, and it'll turn it on. Well, all right, Tim, let's run through the process of how we would cock this and okay. load it. Okay. Uh, right here on the bottom, there's actually a release for that. So that's important to know that that is there. Also, the handle is right here on the side. Pull that out. The, uh, the cocking portion on this is going to be right here on the side. So it's ambidextrous. And you may have to bring some tension onto that before it will start to release the bolt. So as you take tension off of the string, you can now move the switch on the bottom. Oh, when right, there's right. tension on here, it may not allow that to operate. Gotcha. So you put a little tension on the string, pull the switch up, and then we release this back. And this will allow the carriage to go forward. So you have to take the tension off here, and then push your carriage forward. Gotcha. Now once that carriage is down there, it should click. So once you hear that click, we know that it's now ready to draw back. This does have a click. However, you can take your hand off the mechanism as you're loading that. Yep. When it's hot out and the mosquitoes are bothering you, <laughs> you, can, you don't it's have to worry about that. It's not gonna rip that. backwards. <laughs> Now you notice that the arms are drawing down as we crank this back. Yeah. When you get back toward the back, I slow down a little bit so you're not over cranking it. And then you're done. Pull that. And does this one have that, um, the gear in it to where you can't over crank it? Uh, inside here you will have a clutch, but that doesn't mean you can't over crank it. Um, I'm more of the mindset go as far as you need to go and don't go any further. All right, so Tim, let's get a look at that at in the cocked position with those limbs. I mean, that is incredible. <clears throat> Just the position of those limbs now pulled down there. All right, so Tim, typical with uh, Raven crossbows, we do have the capture, knock capture in the carriage, and it is just gonna rest 
on a rest in the rest. front. There's no um, there's no rail that you have to worry about lubing. Mm -hmm. So the bolts come with the odd feather down. So what's my orientation as I'm loading this? We're gonna have the uh, odd feather down. And one of the things we're gonna be noting here is the the knock on the Raven is proprietary. We wanna hear an audible click right. when that bolt is loaded onto the string. Gotcha, so I'm just gonna slide it in. We'll hear it click and then we're set. All right, so Tim, let's say we went out hunting. Didn't have to shoot the crossbow, unfortunately. So we're back home, How, what do you do to let this bow down? I'm assuming you don't wanna leave it like this. We don't wanna leave it like this. So I would pull the uh, handle out. And again, we're gonna load that right back onto here. And we'll take some pressure off of the string. And we'll put the switch on the bottom and we can allow it to go down. And one of the problems with this is you do not want to allow the handle to be let go. This one, you have to keep your hand on. You when we're cranking, you can let it, it go. Right. Letting it down, do you, not let it go. If you take your hand off of it, it will not go any further. Do not recommend that you uh, take it down in this manner. Uh, really, the best way is to just go ahead and shoot it. Oh, okay. Um, so Tim, shooting this bow, tell us about that. I have not shot this one, you have. Okay, it's, uh, it's really interesting shooting this bow. Uh, there's very little recoil. The recoil you do feel uh, is the reflex, so it does come back a little bit more than some of the other bows. Um, other than that, it's, uh, it's very accurate, and uh, I like the red dot sight. Yeah. I think that's uh, really interesting, uh, especially in low light. Right. We should mention there is the capability for removing this butt stock. We leave it on there for shooting because it's far more accurate with it on. That's correct. You would just remove this bolt right here and uh, you can take the handle right off. We, don't, we especially don't want to take it off because then you have to do something with the handle, put it in your pocket or whatever. <laughs> Much easier to keep it right there. <laughs> I know uh, I'm not going to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's many people that uh, put, the, put this in their pocket and uh, got their hands cold, put their hand in the pocket, and as soon as they pull their hand out, well, this goes, it goes. all the way to the ground. <laughs> all right, that is the Raven R18. Definitely a unique crossbow there. Tim, we appreciate your expertise on this. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. As always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.